Hello once again, we're still coming to you live from Kruman here in the Northern Cape whereby we're bringing the socio-economic issues and challenges as well as developments that are faced by the people around this area. Now, the Northern Cape NGO Coalition prides itself as being a bridge between government and the residents of this area, but there is more to this NGO which has many initiatives to improve the lives of the ordinary people. So we're speaking to the coordinator of the Northern Cape NGO Coalition. She is Charmaine van daar hier van goeie moore ek weet nie of hy een goeie moore is dis lekker koud, vreselike koud this morning, good morning and welcome to Morning Live Morning and thank you, morning to the listeners too, thank you very much Amain for your time, um, tell us about the Northern Cape NGO Coalition what exactly does it do? The Northern Cape NGO Coalition is a membership based provincial office established in Uppington but then situated in Kuruman after a while and we are working with civil society organizations across the province, especially in building the capacity to do organizational development properly and to deliver service to the constituencies in which they are. Okay, now tell us specifically what you focus on when you go about assisting the different communities. In the JTG area where the office is situated, we work in 19 villages. We have shifted our focus and there we go and we consult with communities to find out from them what is it that we can do to help change the lives of people that is not the duty of government or uh, the national government of the country. I mean there are lots of challenges facing the communities here. Isn't it a, a huge task for you to be going out and asking the community what would they like to see, the changes that they would love to see. Is it not a huge task for, for the coalition? It is a huge task and it needs a lot of resources. But if we want to extend the hand of government in the communities, we've got to put our hand to the plough. And that is exactly what the Northern Cape NGO Coalition is doing. There is many challenges, especially regarding water, sanitation. Our health service is a big problem, but we try as far as possible to help. There has been a lot of changes, but there is still a lot that needs to be done. And just before we went on air now, you were telling me about an initiative, an initiative called Support a Child. Talk to us about that. Okay, yes, we are funded by Action Aid South Africa, and they've got a program, Child Sponsorship, in which one child in each of these 19 villages, not, not all of the schools, but a number of children in a school is funded by an individual. The funding does not go to the child. The funding goes to the community to change their lives. We don't go and tell the community what it is they want. We go and ask them when it is something that is not the responsibility of or that is the responsibility of government, then we advise them. In it, to make an example, if they want spray lights over a sports ground and the school hasn't got a fence, we will rather help fencing the school so that we can enable uh, good quality learning and teaching. Okay, now quickly, is government com coming on board? Yes, government is coming on board, but in some areas they also lack to come on board, especially our Department of Education. We have got a very good relationship with them and we work well with them. But there's other services that is really still lacking. Okay, no, Shamin, that's where we're going to leave it. Baya, baya, thank you for the Thank you. There you have it. That's the coordinator of the Northern Cape NGO Coalition, Shamain von der Hierfe, talking to us about the challenges that are faced by the community in this area, particularly their role as the NGO to see as to how they go about assisting where they can. What Lian, you were saying earlier on, I do not have another name. Yes, I do. I don't have. I am Balisa, Finnish and Lar, that's it. But I do know that Valen has got another name. She is Nkosazana and she's standing by with the latest in sports. Sao Bon and Kostazana.